Our heart is composed of two types of cells, non-nodal cells and nodal cells. Non-nodal cells include ventricular myocytes, atrial myocytes, and Purkinje cells which make the His Purkinje system. By the way, many students think that His Purkinje system, which include bundle of His, bundle branches and Purkinje fibers are neurons, but actually this is not true. They are just specialized myocardial cells. As for the nodal cells, they include sinoatrial node cells and atrioventricular node cells. They are also specialized myocardial cells. It is very important to note that different cells within the heart are specialized for different functional roles. In general, these specializations are for aromaticity, conduction, and or contraction. So first, what is aromaticity and which cells initiate it? Aromaticity is the cardiac cell's ability to spontaneously generate an electrical impulse. Although all cardiac tissue shows spontaneous depolarization, only the following three are germane. Sinoatrial node cells, atrioventricular node cells, and Purkinje cells. The SA node is situated in the upper right corner of the heart here. It is extremely important to note that SA node spontaneously depolarizes to threshold and generates action potentials. These action potentials are responsible for the initiation of the cardiac cycle systole and diastole. The SA node cells have the highest intrinsic rhythm, making them the pacemaker in a normal heart. Their intrinsic rate is 100 per minute, meaning it generates 100 action potentials during a minute. Therefore, logically, the heart should beat 100 times per minute, but usually it beats less than 100 because at rest, the sinus rate is mostly influenced by vagal tone. Stimulation of the vagus nerve causes a decrease in the SA node rate, thereby decreases the heart rate at rest. In a clinical practice, rarely diabetic neuropathies may involve the vagus nerve, which supplies the SA node as well as the AV node. Again, vagus nerve causes a decrease in SA node rate because the intrinsic rate of the SA node is 100 per minute. Therefore, damage to the vagus nerve that controls heart rate can mean that the heart rate stays high causing tachycardia instead of rising and falling in response to normal body functions and physical activity. Some patients with tachycardia may have no symptoms or complications. Tachycardia significantly increases the risk of stroke, sudden cardiac arrest, or death. Now let's talk about the AV node cells. The AV node is an area of specialized tissue between the atria and the ventricles of the heart right here. Atrioventricular node cells have the second highest intrinsic rate, about 40 to 60 per minute. Sinus node dysfunction refers to abnormalities in sinus node impulse formation and propagation. This happens due to damage to the sinus node and sinus node artery during cardiac surgery. Myocardial infarction also may damage the SA node. When the SA node is damaged, the AV node becomes the pacemaker of the heart because it has the second highest intrinsic rhythm, which is again approximately 40 to 60 per minute. In all these cases, 
the heartbeat may become very slow, causing bradycardia with a decrease in blood pressure. Bradycardia typically does not cause symptoms until the rate drops below 50 beats per minute. When symptomatic, it may cause fatigue, weakness, dizziness, and at very low rates, fainting. It is important to know that His for Kinji system, which includes the bundle of His, the bundle branches, and Purkinji fibers are composed of Purkinji cells. This is an intraventricular conduction system that carries the impulse from the AV node to the ventricles. Although not specialized for automaticity per se, Purkinji cells do exhibit spontaneous depolarization with a rate of 35 per minute. Purkinji cells become pacemaker if the SA and AV nodes are damaged. Talking about conduction in a myocardium, it is very important to note that all cardiac tissue conducts electrical impulses, but specialized for this function are AV node cells and Purkinji cells. It is extremely important to know that conduction velocity is slowest in an AV node and fastest in a Purkinje cells. That's why we say that the AV node is specialized for slow, whereas the Purkinje cells for rapid conduction. AV node, which is located between the atria and the ventricles, electrically connects atrial and ventricular chambers. When an SA node generates action potential, first it spreads throughout the atria and internodal fibers. Another important point here is that between the atria and ventricles, there is a high density single structure of connective tissue which is called fibrous skeleton of the heart. The dense connective tissue within the cardiac skeleton does not conduct electricity and the action potential which is generated in the SA node when it reaches this tissue it dies off. Very big and important point here. The AV node is the only electrical conduit from the atria to the ventricles through the cardiac skeleton. This is the reason why atrial fibrillation can never degrade into ventricular fibrillation. Another important point here is that the AV node is specialized for slow conduction. Let me draw here some cells from the AV node and explain why it is so. The first reason is that they have small diameter cells. If you remember when we were talking about the velocity of the action potentials in neurons, I have already said that the greater the cell diameter, the greater the conduction velocity. And the second reason is that they have a low density of gap junctions. The lower the density of gap junctions, the lower the conduction velocity. And the third reason is that the rate of depolarization is slow in comparison to tissue that conducts fast because these fibers lack functioning fast channels. The depolarization phase of the action potential is generated by the slow voltage gated calcium channels, not fast sodium channels. In addition, the resting membrane potential is more positive. As a result, depolarization has a smaller magnitude and there is a smaller rate of depolarization. A smaller action potential and a slower rate of depolarization create a slower velocity for the action potential. So, the Purkinje cells are specialized for rapid conduction. These cells constitute the His Purkinje system of the ventricles. In contrast to AV node, their diameter is large. Also, they have a high density of gap junctions and the rate of depolarization is rapid. 
Under normal conditions, the SA node in atria sets the pace for the heart and these impulses travel down through the AV node and his Purkinje system to the ventricles. Atrioventricular block is a type of heart block in which the conduction between the atria and ventricles of the heart is impaired. The causes of pathological AV block are varied and include ischemia, infarction, fibrosis, or even some drugs. The symptoms depend on a degree of the AV block. Diagnosis of the AV block is by ECG. Contraction is another property of cardiac tissue, specifically the property of ventricular and atrial myocytes. Cardiomyocytes are capable of coordinated contraction. Coordinated contractions of cardiac muscle cells in a heart pump blood out of the atria and ventricles to the blood vessels of the systemic and pulmonary circulation. Contraction is the cycling of the cross bridges and actually we have a separate video where I'm talking about it in a little bit more detail. Also, as I have mentioned above, myocytes have a spontaneous depolarization and they conduct electrical impulses. Hey guys, it's Sumar. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you like it. Actually, if you are not informed still, we at Avicenna team began making much more colorful, handsome, informative and high quality videos than this one using new technologies. And for you guys, they are absolutely free. If you watch our videos and like them and if you want us further make more high quality videos on best complicated topics in medicine, you can help us. First of all, you can help us by donating on Patreon or donating directly to our PayPal account, by subscribing to our YouTube channel and Facebook page, by liking this video if you really liked and enjoyed. Otherwise, thanks to everyone for watching this video and helping us.